everybody? It is Jessica Love here. I am with my friend, my producer, pastor, what I call him, Jamel Kimbro. What's up, y'all? And we kind of rolling with the punches here. At first, uh, we were just getting a little interview footage for upcoming documentary. To we got a lot to say today, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. If we would have recorded <laughs> before we got here, I think we'd be done. Yeah. Because we had like a whole hour long conversation. We did, Jess. That's another thing that happens um, when you come into the studio with Jamel is it is a place of therapy. I feel like you block out mm. like at least two hours for people to decompress when they come for here. For sure. I'm going to tell you why. Because I need it. Yeah. I need clarity on where you are mentally. Yeah. I, where, where is your headspace right now? Should we even press record? Right. Nah, probably not. Right. You ain't, you're not in good space. You know, I don't want to have to go in there and pull you out of there, and, and, we, and we're on the clock. I don't want to do that. Right. You know, but it's good to even get to understand where you are. So if we're writing songs, I know what to kind of talk about. Yeah. It's important. So, yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm with Key and Up Music. We're going to talk about so much. It's going to be so good. But the first bulk of this, um, we're definitely going to talk about this upcoming song, uh, Living Proof. And really, in my musical journey, whether I was singing or not, or whatever I was doing in life, I would always refer to Jamel Kimbrough as my producer. I met Jamel before he became famous. Not famous. <laughs> and a number one hit producer. But also, I met him at a place where he was still, it was definitely about to happen. I didn't know. I went off of GP. I love his mm. wife. I love his family. But I want to rewind a little bit back to where we first met. Because, and here's, here's why I have to wonder why you took your time on me. The other day I was looking through old clips, right, of, of this recorded stuff, and I found some mess I sent you. I, you know, I think I'm going to play it. I got it. it all. I got it all. Don't even trip. I'm going to play a clip for the people. It sounded like I was on drugs. So when you when you get your when you get your number one billboard, right, and we go up and we, we accept, I'm going to have an audio clip. On my phone, and I'm put up to the mic and listen to this. <laughs> that stuff sounded like I can't even, I can't even. So, but I was so serious. I believed me, man. I believed it. Sure. So when we first met, let's talk about that. No, let me tell you. When you said I believed it, then I. When you said you believed it, then I believed it. You know what I'm saying? So for me to invest in you, mm -hmm. I have to know that you believe in yourself, mm -hmm. even if you're not ready. Jesus. Because we're not, we're never ready to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ever. I'm not ready. Anytime a rec I do a record, I'm always second guessing myself. Like, oh God, wow. is, it, is are the people gonna receive this, or is it gonna work? Or is it? At this point, I, I can't care. Yeah. I have to do it because this is what I wanted. Yeah. Ready or not, here we go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that is that is what made me a believer in you, even at that stage where you were trying to figure things out. You know. <laughs> conceptually who you are yeah. you know and then your sound like yeah you were trying to work we on your sound stuff. i had a kermit fray phase you, you did i said it like <laughs> you you a did. glorified frog but not even <laughs> you laughing because he know it's true. hey i couldn't find out how to eq that that frequency to save my life this, oh that's a whole nother story bro we was in the studio i had a meltdown years ago on the leon tempo project because whatever my voice was. You were going through. <laughs> and it was so funny. Leon had to figure out how to deal with you. But I knew how to do it. That's because we go. <laughs> we we work together. He didn't know what to do with you. You knew it's tough breakdown. love. Mm -hmm. I said, get in there and do it. You get in there. And I'm not going <laughs> to allow you to, you know, force yourself out of this moment. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the, the best songs on the record to me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But it took you. It took me to put my foot down. <laughs> You're not say, getting out of this. You're not getting out of this. Yeah. You know, but going back to, you know, when we first connected, you know, as I said, you know, I, I became a believer in you because I saw you had a drive and determination to mm -hmm. let's let's go. I don't know who I am yet, Jamel. And are you on board? I love to do that. <laughs> I love to take people and, and help them figure out who it is and what they want to say. Mm -hmm. That's like I feel like that's a gift of mine that God has given me not to yeah. just do music. But to take an artist and help them see yeah. where, or help lead them through where they, you know, essentially see themselves. Yeah. So.